Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Charles called out by Prince Willem for mad hobby. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Charles have one very active hobby in common which has been described as mad by Prince William. The Queen is said to be an avid walker like Prince Charles and walks her dogs daily. Royal commentators Roberto Fiorito and Rachel Bowie discussed Prince William's very honest comments about his father's coronavirus diagnosis when he said Charles has been walking a lot. Ms. Fiorito noted this is something the Queen also likes to do and walks her corgis a lot. Speaking on the Royally Obsessed podcast, Ms. Fiorito said, I love picturing Charles as a mad walker. I've heard that Queen Elizabeth is also a mad walker. She walks her corgis all the time. She walks. She walks 10 miles a day or something. It comes after Prince William said his father's COVID-19 diagnosis left him feeling worried. He told BBC News, I have to admit, at first I was quite concerned, he fits the profile of somebody, at the age he is at, which is fairly risky, and so I was a little bit worried. But my father has had many chest infections, colds, things like that over the years. And so, I thought to myself, if anybody is going to be able to beat this, it's going to be him. And actually, he was very lucky, he had mild symptoms. The future king's son also revealed Prince Charles is mad about walking, something he was missing greatly while isolating. Prince William added, he is a mad walker. Loves just waking. So I think he found it quite difficult. Especially, also I think with his mental health, being stuck inside and not being able to go for walks. The prince said that his family is doing everything we can to protect his grandparents, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh who are in isolation at Windsor Castle. He said, and obviously I think very carefully about my grandparents, who are at the age they're at, we are doing everything we can to make sure they're isolated away and protected from this. The Queen has since celebrated her 94th birthday but with a muted affair during the coronavirus outbreak. She said it wouldn't be appropriate to celebrate at this time and cancelled the gun salute. Royal family members did wish her the best on the day and are said to have spoken to her on a video call. Brutal nickname royal staff gave to Charles during the affair with Camilla exposed. Prince Charles was dubbed the Prince of Darkness during the earlier years of his affair with his now wife Camilla Parker Bowles, a royal expert has revealed. Charles and Camilla were in an on-off relationship throughout both of their marriages. They met in the early 70s through a mutual friend. But Camilla married former flame Andrew Parker Bowles while Charles was overseas training with the Royal Navy. Charles then wed Lady Diana Spencer in 1981, but it was not long before he and Camilla struck up their romance once again. An article in the New York Post from 2016 revealed the extent to which Charles' staff had to go to hide his relationship with Camilla from his wife. Royal author Christopher Anderson explained that when both Camilla and Charles were married to other people, Charles' valet Ken Stronach was instructed to treat Camilla as mistress of the prince's official residence, Highgrove. Mr. Anderson continued, a guest room was assigned to her, but after midnight the Prince of Wales would switch off the elaborate alarm system guarding his room so that Camilla could sneak in. Stronach was told to mess up the bed in Camilla's room so that the servants would think she had slept in it. He added, since Charles always slept in Camilla's room and then departed before daylight, they called him the Prince of Darkness. Charles managed to plan these prolonged periods of time away from Diana so that he could maximize his time with his mistress. Mr. Anderson continued, wielding his considerable influence to make sure that, Mr. Parker Bowles' assignments kept him far from home for weeks or months at a time, Charles frequently called on Camilla at her house. Once royal protection officers alerted Camilla that the prince was on his way, all lights in the house were switched off so he could pull inside the driveway without being spotted, a bit of espionage Camilla's servants called the blackout. Mr. Stronach was also to personally examine all glassware to make sure there were no lipstick traces or used ashtrays which might give away Camilla's presence at Highgrove. He said, Charles always kept a framed photo of Camilla at his bedside, packing it away was on Stronach's growing list of things to do whenever Diana popped into Highgrove. However, Diana saw through this act and was aware her husband was having an affair with Camilla. 
She tried to intervene and implored Camilla to stop seeing Charles, but she refused. Camilla's first husband, Army officer Mr. Parker Bowles, had many extramarital affairs of his own. She tried to intervene and implored Camilla to stop seeing Charles, but she refused. Camilla's first husband, Army officer Mr. Parker Bowles, had many extramarital affairs of his own. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told the International Business Times back in 2017, musical chairs is one of the sports of the upper classes. Another royal writer Phil Dampier also told IB Times that Charles, Camilla and Andrew were in a weird royal setup which Diana went into not realizing the depth of the relationships. Andrew and Camilla are still good friends to this day. He even attended her wedding day to Charles in 2005 with his second wife Rosemary Pittman. Camilla and Charles celebrated their 15th wedding anniversary earlier this month.